In this quick video, you'll learn how to replace the battery in your GMC Canyon key fob. Um, now, a couple of you out there have a slightly different version of this particular device. You probably saw in the thumbnail one that looked like yours. Um, don't worry, you can follow along with this video. There are just a different, couple different layouts of this device. There's one that only has four buttons, so it's gonna look like this. Um, there's another one that looks like this, but it has silver sides. And then there's one that just has these three buttons there. It doesn't matter which one of them you have. You can follow along with this video and we'll get a new battery in your device in under five minutes. The only things you'll need are a flathead screwdriver um, or perhaps a smaller precision screwdriver can help. I'll show you why in a minute. And you will need one CR2032 battery. Um, if you don't have one of these batteries lying around um, or you're not sure where to get one, can go check out the that first link in the description. That link will take you over to Amazon where you can find these batteries for just a few dollars. Uh, so the first step here <clears throat> is just to flip the device over to the back and then look down here where the key ring attaches. You can see there is that slot right in between this key ring and the back section of plastic. Take a flathead screwdriver, insert it in, and then we're just going to turn the screwdriver to one side. And you can see I've just snapped off this one kind of latch on the right there. So I'm going to go back in and now twist in the opposite direction. You can see this other one has come off and now we can just pull the back off and we have access to the battery right there. <clears throat> um, now when you open this up, your battery is going to be fixed in there. There's a little piece of plastic that holds it on both sides. Um, on this one, on this model we have here, the very small piece of plastic that goes right about there has broken off just because this is a used model and we've just been, um, replacing the battery so many times. But, um, if you're, you know, just go slowly, you can, uh, damage this part if you do this improperly, but if you go slowly and especially if you use these precision screwdrivers or a smaller screwdriver, you shouldn't have any problem. So you can see um, this larger piece of plastic holding, um, holding the battery down. Across from it, there will be another piece of plastic. All we want to do is find one of these small areas. You can see right here, there's almost a little space for a, a screwdriver. And what you do is you just wiggle your tool down to the bottom and then pry it up. And again, take your time. You don't want to damage this thing. And um, the first, second, third time you do this, you shouldn't damage it. And we've just done this dozens of times on this device. And I've also done it with this larger tool, which you can do in a pinch. But again, you run a greater risk of damaging something. So you can just take uh, your flathead and find probably this larger area is going to work better for you. Just anywhere there's enough space on the side to push down almost to the bottom and then pry up. That's all it takes and you'll your battery will snap out of there. You can go ahead and dispose of your old battery. Take your new CR2032 and when you're putting it in make sure the positive side is facing up. So you want to see the plus sign looking back at you when you snap this thing back into place. And you'll do so by pushing it under this larger tab first and then clicking it on the other side. From here we're just going to line up these two latches that we um, unfastened at the beginning with the key ring side. So you're actually just going to put the top into place and then push down on each side until both of these have reattached just like that. And you can check to make sure everything is nice and secure and all lined up. And with that, you are done. You have a new battery in your device and you're good to go. So I hope that was helpful for you and I hope it was nice and simple. And if you liked that video, you can let me know down in the comments, which we'd love to hear. We'd love to hear that we are helping you guys out and um, you're enjoying our videos. And you can also let us know just by giving this video a like. And uh, if you ever need help with another one of your key fobs, you can come back to this channel. We have you covered with video tutorials just like this one for the key fobs for almost every make and model out there. You can also get that information over at our website, fobbattery.com.